Greetings, lords and ladies. It is I, Robert, or Volt Avos, here with another episode of Card Hunter. Uh, if you remember last episode, we went through the Caverns of the Troglodytes. Um, I, I believe this is up on YouTube, right? Because I did that, did these, this was separate. We have three episodes, so yeah, that should be right. If it's not, let me know. Or maybe I'll just figure it out. Um, so let's see, let's check our characters. We have Gruntle, our Dwarven Fighter, which I believe his stuff is top-notch. Um, we have Volt Avos the Great, that is us, um, our human wizard. And we have Ilvandiliar, our um, elven cleric. So let's jump right on in to the lair of the Trogl wizard, not troglodytes. Ah. Well, they are troglodytes, but... At last you have found the cursed mind orchestrating the savage assault, a trog wizard no less. So let's uh, read this right here. In the deep holes beneath the troglodyte cave, the mysterious chanting can be heard. Are the rumors true that the troglodytes are led by a foul enchanter? Discover the truth in the lair of the trog wizard. Scuttler Warren, you enter into a dark and claustrophobic stretch of tunnels. As your torchlight pierces the murk, a dreadful caterwauling precedes the appearance of some especially filthy troglodytes. There is no time to parley. You must slay them. So I think I'm just going to start alternating um, this and One Way Heroics. Ambush. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm just kind of out of time uh, tonight. Maybe I should start recording this one. Sundays and upload them both at the same time. That sounds like a good idea. Robert, why haven't you done that sooner? Anyway, ambush. Reeking troglodytes jump from the shadows, lusting for tasty man flesh. What about the dwarf and the elf? They're not men, technically. Okay, let's see. Can't get them with spark. I would appreciate it if our dwarf could pop right there. Oh wait, there's a troglodyte there. Dang it. I did not see you. Okay, let's see. This gives us two damage, right? I believe so. Yep. So let's see that before. Um they have spears. Hmm. So let's go ahead and I want to zap them. I want to zap you, to be honest. So let's oh. zap him. Or spark. Oh! How dare you? Is that a keep? Dang it. Do you have any pierce? Pierce? No pierce. They actually have to come closer if they want to get us. Wait a minute. What does this do? Armor 2 keep? Then why do they have a scuttle? Do they have to reveal it? Oh, that's that's the card they started off with. Okay, okay. Um Really, I just want to move you right there. Going to pass. I'm going to bash you. I should not have done that. Dang it. Wait. Okay. Okay, let's see what you did there. Nose up. Gonna stab him. Take four points of damage. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What to do, what to do. That'll work. Hands. Get one of them. At least burn them. And then we will... Righteous Frenzy on our Barbarian. Oh, probably should have waited on that. Dang it. Alright, new hand, new hand. Let's do something good. It's not bad. Oh, do I have to do that? 
Treat. Attach this card to yourself. Duration 2. Add 1 damage to any electrical attack. Subtract 2 from block rolls versus arcane cards you play. Ooh! Yes, please. Def <laughs> Dang it. Whenever you play a magic card, if an enemy is within 2 squares, cancel that card. No! Okay. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. He's gonna jump up. Don't you scuttle away. Let's see, you have. I don't know, I wanna see his health. Four of seven, four of seven. So let's get a penetrating stab in. Boom! That should have. What? Duration one. Dang it. I'm not doing so hot. <laughs> What? What'd you just... I didn't pick him. I didn't pick him. Getting... Getting gypped out of my cards. Alright, let's jump back over here. Do a healing pulse. And... You go over there. Yeah, yeah. Pass. And Gary ends the round, so we get to go first. Let's toss this bludgeon and the simple strike. Hide. Man, he's blocking that. Alright. Oh, it activated on him because nobody was nearby. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, telekinesis, I think we will save. Right now, I want you to head up there. Get your spear thrust in, sir. Or you are dead. Oh, probably should have killed the other one first. Oh, well, it's fine. And then, sure strike. Kill. Scuttle. Go on over here. Show you what happens. Um. Actually, hold on. Oh, do I have to use it now? That's not cool. Let's go right there, and we will get single bash. Ah, oh, you got the roll. Okay, bludgeon should kill though. Yep, there we go. We did it! Victory! You smashed them. Looks like the Trogs have been going hungry today. Uh, the Trogs appear to have been protecting a small cavity in the wall containing a variety of disgusting objects considered precious by these subterranean monsters. Tossing them aside, you discover a few useful items that can be salvaged. Once cleaned. Huh. Hey, who ate all the jerky? I, I don't know. It wasn't us. Although I do like beef jerky. Can't get that. Alright, let's take the loot. Divine weapon. Uncommon staff. Okay, so let's go to us. So this is fire spray bludgeon. This has... Fire spray, penetrating zap. I want to keep the zap because we have that card that boosts it. This is bash, bludgeon, righteous frenzy. Oh, it's the same thing. Duh. Anyway, Melvin says that a good GM isn't distracted by food mid-session. He says it's it's. About, he says it's about focus. I'm getting tongue tide twisted over here. You reach an unpleasantly warm chamber lit with a flickering yellow glow. This final cavern is the sanctuary of the dread Trog Wizard, known as Krundyup, in his own tongue. Interesting name. The evil creature stands inside an arcane symbol, etched into the ground with a mysterious glowing substance. Krundyup sneers as you approach and barks a harsh order to his guards. The fray is joined. Defend yourself! And we shall. Bring it on, uh -huh. wizard. 
Crunchyup points at you and then at his mouth. Could this be some sort of trog greeting? I think he wants to eat us. Dungeon master. Um I don't I don't think it's a greeting at all. Let's because he's over there. Trog scuttlers. Let's pass. Let them come to us. Pass again. That's right. Head this way. While I give you a good old zappity zap. So we will have, not you. I want you. I'm going to have bludgeon. Um, let's have you jump up here. And bludgeon this way. Ooh, they don't have armor. That's good to know. Oh, wait, can't use that. Dang it. <laughs> Nothing ever wants to go my way. So we'll hop right here. And then we'll do a little that. Like so. Um, have you take a walk. On a boardwalk. Because <laughs> we're playing on a board. We'll see. Wasn't that funny? And <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> oh, I think I think playing a knight is, yeah. does something to me sometimes. Okay, here comes the trog wizard. Whoa, whoa, what does that do? I want to read that. Shoots. Uh, I want to... You take one arcane down. Okay. Oh. So three for one? That's actually not good. I mean, I guess the range on that's pretty good. Six. Um, Ember spray seems nice. Although I want to put a hot spot on that guy. So he has one move card that we know of. Um, Righteous Frenzy. I want that on you. Yep. Don't run away. Be our friend. As we cut you open. Okay. Um, I need you. Just go right there, I guess. You would. It's not moving. It's fine. Um... Yeah, let's use that. We can use the health. Do that. Short shot. Um, I want him to move. How much does this do again? Eight points of damage. So let's have you skedaddly do over here. Not as far as I want you to go. All right. So let's go up here. Okay. Oh, we still has a movement card. No. Let's go right here. He has to. And you wasted your card. Well, you're dead. I wanted to click on that. I, I really did. The game knew what card we had in our hand. He's cheating. He has to be. Righteous Frenzy. Let's get rid of that guy. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're going to take a lot of damage anyways. Um, let's walk. Let's run over here. Hello. Where are you going, buddy? Don't you want to be our friend? Don't you want to play? Well, play with this. You're not getting out of it now. Enjoy. Goodbye. You lose. You're dead. Whoa, <laughs>
We are victorious. The trogs have been crushed and, oh, it's late. This is so awesome though, let's keep going. Yeah, that's actually kind of act how I play my games. <laughs> Krundyup lies slain as the lifeblood drains from his carcass. So too does the light ebb from the arcane symbols traced on the floor. Whatever foul incantation he was attempting will never be completed. Behind a cleverly concealed chunk of wall is the Trog Wizard's collection of stolen items. You deliberate, you liberate, not deliberate, them before leaving this foul cave to bring the news of your success back to the villagers. So this was only two battles, huh? And we didn't level up. Oh, we Bill Van Dillier leveled up, though. Is everybody else level three? I guess so. So we have room for a divine item. Or is it not a divine item? I guess it is. Um, ooh, we got some nice goodies. Uh, that can just be sold. Um, this is a wizard stuff. Ooh, we are going to want that. So let's go to Gruntal. Um, let's see. Reach swing. Add three to block rolls against this attack. Why? Okay. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, misguided heal. Heal four. Healing is applied after damage. That's actually not bad. <laughs> I, I've that can be useful because if we're right next to someone who, or not even really next to someone, has a range of eight. That's pretty good. Cause of fragility. Attach to target when target takes damage. Add two to that direct. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? Penetrating cut. Overcharge swing. Um, don't really want this, but that over that controlled overswing is kind of nice. Let's replace it though. Fine, we'll take it. Do I have to? Is that not the right character? What they did, Ilvandiliar get all the good stuff. Ah, uh, that would explain the healing. Um, what is the... Oh, we can't use that. Skyded Heal or Fragile Curse. Fours. Sixes. Threes. Let's... Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really want to. <laughs> um, okay, so we have Heals. Misguided Heals. Sure Strike Blessing. Um, heals are nice, so we'll go ahead and do that. I think we're going to keep this weapon that we have. Now the staff that we just got, uh, where is it? Is this it? Which one? Probably the level 3 one. Um, Sorceress Bolt, 4 with a range of 6. Three with range of four, hard to block two, two and ten, hard to block one, spark, penetrating. I think I like that. What do we have right now? Fire spray. So right now, we're doing electric. It's electric. You can do it. It's electric. Woogie boogie woogie. Oh, I, I don't want to sing that song. Last time I did that, it got yeah. stuck in my head. Ooh, Cuthbert's costumes lets you change the appearance of your characters. I forgot about this place. Woohoo! But then I remembered. You deserve a new figure, so I'm happy to give you some pizza from my private stash. Awesome. 80? Okay. Oh, I forgot. We're in the Halloween figure mode. Um, as a woman. Is that Doctor Strange? I, I'm thinking that's supposed to be Doctor Strange. 
Um, so who do we want to be? I mean, we are a human wizard. That looks kind of cool. And that one. I can't really tell what he had. Oh, he's a sci-fi guy who's invisible. Okay. There's a caveman there. Let's go with... Kind of, I really do want to change us... One, three, six. Let's get the Halloween ones. For, uh, Gruntal and Ilvandiliar. So we're going to get the, uh, vampire guy. And the, uh, goblin dude. So we have Gruntal, or not goblin, Gruntal the pumpkin fighter swordsman and we have Ilvan Diliar the elven vampire cleric priest thing I don't know and then we're just the same probably should have got uh, the Doctor Strange one though oh well it's all good right so um, next episode we are going to hit the highway robbery so that's going to do it for this episode thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed i hope you all have a wonderful day take care and god bless